Storm Team forecast. That uh, was really cool with the eagle there. Yeah, lots of snow falling in some portions of the Susquehanna Valley. Let's go ahead and jump into some of those storm totals that we've received so far. Keep in mind, some of these may be an hour or two old. So if you don't see your area or maybe not representing your area, let us know. Go to our News 8 Storm Team Facebook page or email us weather at WGAL.com with your totals. So far, York County around the Jefferson area, that's around the southern York County. Latest report around seven inches there. Palmyra, Lebanon County, close to a half a foot. Then you go to Colonial Park, five and a half inches. Smithville, Lancaster. County about five inches, Smithville being in the southern portions of Lancaster County. And then you go up to the northwest, Mifflin County, Lewistown, only an inch and a half there. We knew there would be a very tight cutoff to this precipitation. And yeah, that's set up pretty much where we expected it to. Now, right now, looking at radar, we are seeing a brighter band of some heavier snow, mainly in our southeastern half of the, uh, of the area right now. Gettysburg, 27 degrees. Temperatures steadily sitting in the low 20s elsewhere. Lewistown, 19 degrees. So, what started off as a heavier wet snow has now transitioned to a Fluffier, lighter snow that is easier to accumulate and accumulating better. So we're starting to see those totals rising pretty quickly here. But you can see from Waynesboro to around Bendersville, Dillsburg, E Town, up to Mannheim, that band is going to be pushing southeast. We've had reports of around one to two inches per hour in that band as it's sliding down to the southeast. Lancaster, you're next. It will likely come down very hard for about the next 30 minutes or so. And then as you head up to the northwest, Lewistown, Sealands Grove, Shamokin, not really a whole lot going on. There is some light snow, but uh, probably not accumulating that. That well, at this point. Now, putting this map in motion, you can see that heavier band is starting to slide down to the southeast. There is an additional heavier band down towards the I 95 corridor, but I think, in, uh, in terms of overall snow amounts, the higher totals here in the Susquehanna Valley will likely be south of the PA Turnpike. So, through the rest of today, light to moderate snow continues and could be heavy at times with some of those banding structures in the southern counties, and it should be starting to taper off by evening. Our temperatures today uh, likely dropping through the rest of the afternoon. Into tonight, we continue to fall with those numbers. Sky Skies clear, mostly clear skies for us, and uh, cold temperatures around 8 degrees for the overnight hours. And then heading into tomorrow, mostly sunny with some afternoon clouds, and it will be cold for sure, those high temperatures climbing up into the middle 20s. Now, of course, we have had a lot of uh, higher snow reports, but what's to come? Here's Christine Ferrer with that. Thanks, Matt, and hi, everyone. Good afternoon. You can see the back edge of this snow right now, just moving through eastern portions of Kentucky, West Virginia, about to approach the Susquehanna Valley. So as this back edge comes through, just expect additional light accumulations uh, through the early part of the afternoon. I think everything shuts off between 4 and 6 p.m. from northwest to southeast. So you're almost done with it here in Lewistown. You'll be done with it in southern Lancaster County by 6 o'clock at the latest. Let me show you the predictor here. This really tells the story for us. Right now, we're in that heavy zone of snow. Matt pointed out one big bright band that's putting down an inch or two per hour. As I advance the clock to 2 p.m., notice snow starts to shut off north, but it's still going down to the south. What about 5, 6? It's almost out of here. Look at that. Drier air working in behind this storm will eventually shut off the snow and rapidly clear the sky as we head into tonight. So with this fresh coating of snow, clear skies, light winds, and high pressure nearby, we're going to plummet tonight. We could very well be pushing record low temperatures. The record in Harrisburg is 7. We're going for 8 to 10 for our overnight lows here. Tomorrow, mostly sunny to start. There could be a few afternoon clouds. And as we approach the weekend, notice weather systems here stay generally to our north. You see the snow up to our north. For us, we will be a borderline, uh, maybe seeing a shower, but for the most part, dry this weekend. Let me show you our expected accumulations here. In the bright blue, 7 to 10 inches, that does include all of our southern tier counties, Route 30 and south. 4 to 7, there could be some isolated 7.5 inch readings in there uh, through the lighter blue stripe. And then farther up to the north in the white, that's 1 to 4, where the snow has almost shut off for you. It's just very light in nature currently. Extended forecast shows that we're cold tomorrow, but start to moderate a bit for the weekend. Notice Sunday, Sunday is 44. Next week, Susan, we could be pushing Ooh, 50 by Wednesday. Wow. That'll melt <laughs> some of the snow. That's okay. Quite so, the difference. Well, sure. at least it's not going to be too windy to blow this around or not really. It's been a breezy. You know, right, it's times. breezy right now. The light, fluffy snow mm -hmm. will blow around for a time, but into tonight, the winds will really calm down. All right, very good. Thank you both. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you both here.